This right here is what we call a failed play. In the dying seconds of a Game 7, Toronto Maple Leaf captain John Tavares takes a spinorama shot in desperation to try and tie the game. The opportunity is stuffed and the first round Leaf curse continues to live on. But what happens when that identical play is made almost a full calendar year later? Well, let's find out. April 29th, 2023. The Toronto Maple Leafs are facing the Tampa Bay Lightning in Game 6 of the first round. The Leafs lead the series 3-2, but anyone who knows the Leafs knows that this means nothing. After six straight first round exits where they've held the series lead in almost all of them, everyone doubts that this team has the ability to close out a playoff series. To get to this point though, the series has been a complete roller coaster. After an embarrassing Game 1 loss for Toronto, the Leafs rallied three straight wins including an improbable Game 4 comeback that allowed them to take a 3-1 series lead. But with Tampa winning Game 5, the seed of doubt still lingered in everyone's head, especially the Leafs themselves. This set up a pivotal Game 6 between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now a year prior, the Leafs found themselves in a similar position with an opportunity to close out the series in Tampa also. But yet again, the Leafs would squander the opportunity as Braden Point's OT goal would force a Game 7 in Toronto. And like all Game 7s in recent memory for the Leafs, that ended in a 2-1 heartbreak in favor of Tampa. The Leafs pressed like crazy in the dying minute to tie the game, but after a John Tavares shot attempt was stuffed, the Leafs were dealt another first round loss. Fast forward a year later, and the Leafs have another chance to change the narrative. Now, Game 6 in 2023 between these two teams was the tightest of the series. With the Lightning feeding off the energy of the home crowd, a couple of big early saves from Ilya Samsonov kept this game tied at zero in the first, which was lucky for the Leafs because the nerves in the first period were clearly evident. With both teams settling into the game by the second, open space was certainly hard to come by. But Toronto's system insists on keeping an F3 high in the Ozone, so that allowed Austin Matthews to find a tiny window of space for him to blast home the first goal of the game. Leafs would hold a 1-0 lead until about 15 minutes left in the third, where an opening saw Steven Stamkos bury a rebound and tie the game at 1. A couple of close calls for both teams in the third period would give everyone a heart attack, but yet again, Game 6 between the Leafs and Lightning would go to OT. That brings us to this John Tavares shift in overtime. Tavares up until this point has had a unique career. Granted exceptional status as a kid, drafted first overall, and hailed to be the savior for the New York Islanders, Tavares has had big expectations ever since he stepped into the NHL. And even though he had some great individual seasons for the Islanders, the team's success just wasn't there. For Tavares, the highlight of his Islanders career was ending the 21-year-old playoff series winless drought in dramatic OT fashion. Other than that, it was a lot of scarce years on the island, and after spending nine seasons there, he decided to leave and come to his hometown team, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, this isn't something superstar players usually do in hockey. Unlike the NBA, typically franchise players stay with the team they're drafted with for their entire career. If not, they're considered traitors, and to this day, Tavares is considered just that on the island. After making one of the gutsiest decisions to go play for Toronto, Tavares was beloved by Leaf fans. But in Toronto, they will turn on you if they don't see results, and for his first four seasons as a Leaf, he had yet to get them over the first round hump. After having the opportunity to play Hero last year and coming up with a failed play in pure desperation, Tavares looks determined for a different outcome. Grabbing the puck out of the corner, Tavares doesn't have many options on his backhand. So with Tampa playing man coverage, a pass forward to Mitch Marner here would put him in a horrible position. Tavares can also shoot, but learning from last year's failed play, he knows that from this distance to the net, he runs the risk of the shot being blocked or intercepted. So he opts to keep possession and hold the line. Just barely beating out the Tampa man to the puck, he bats it down to the corner to rookie Matthew Nyes. With man coverage in full effect at this point for Tampa, 
Nyes makes a veteran play by absorbing contact to buy some space and then continues the cycle to a streaking Tavares, who finally breaks free from the tight man coverage. Knowing he'll be pressed instantly on his backhand, Tavares does a quick scan coming from behind the net and takes note that this time there's traffic in front with Morgan Riley. Now, Tavares officially has options. He can either defer to the point, send it back down low for a cycle, or he could shoot. If you rewind to almost exactly a year ago, Tavares found himself in a similar position with the game on his stick. Granted, the circumstances of the game were a little bit different, but when he was on his backhand, Tavares' spinorama shot was met with failure. And that's because a year prior, Tampa forced Tavares nearly up to the blue line and made him rush this exact move. In the past, his creativity and deception with this spin move has actually worked beautifully. And now in this position almost a year later, Tavares can make this play on his own terms. While the percentages of a shot like this to go in seem low, as we saw from the previous year, there is traffic in front of Vasilevsky and funnier bounces have found their way into the net in overtime. And even though this play failed almost exactly one year ago, Tavares has shown in the past that he isn't afraid to make a creative play with the game on the line. So with the game on his stick, the hometown captain is about to break a 19-year playoff curse. Behind the net, coming out in front, John scores! John Tavares! They finally caught lightning in the bottle! And the Maple Leafs have broken the 19-year curse! So, as you all know, that euphoric feeling that Leaf fans had only lasted about a week as they got humbled very quickly by the Florida Panthers. But regardless, that will be a goal that Leaf fans remember forever. So drop a comment down below. And before we end the video, I want to thank our sponsor, Hockey Training. If your hockey player wants to improve your game, the Hockey Training app and YouTube channel is the best place to be. Armed with drills inspired by some of the greatest NHL players in the world, it is the number one spot to take your game to the next level, both on and off the ice. If you're interested, I'll leave the links in the bio down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more NHL breakdowns, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on notifications.